Hey there everybody, it's Jessica and Peanut here back with another workout for you today. So today's routine is a bar free bar workout. So we're gonna do some more ballet inspired movements. You won't need a bar unless you feel like you need something to hold on to during some of the moves, but you should be okay without something. We're gonna first warm up and then we'll pick up our weights. I'm working with three pounds. Feel free to go heavier, go lighter, or even use just your body weight depending on how you feel today. So we're just starting off with a little side to side toe tap, working through those feet and those ankles. Good, just a few more. Let's steady the feet and take a small plie position. So we're still in warm up mode, we're not making this too big. Just take it down and up. Good, we're gonna start to add a little reach up and over through the side. Good, four more on this side. Give me a little contraction through those obliques. Last two. Good, take it center, switch arms. So we come down, up and over. As you get warmer, you can take that plie a little deeper if that feels right for you. Two and one, good. Now take it down and up. Continue working through those arms. We're just gonna open and close out through the arms. So I want you to think of using your upper back muscles to open the arms to the side. Use the front of the shoulders and the chest to close those arms in. Imagine you're hugging a big giant beach ball here. Good. And in. Two more. Now let's take it down and just take a little pulse. Opening those knees slightly back as they bend down. Lifting just this heel right here. Good switch heels. Come down and up with both heels. Arms are gonna come with it. Just the heels are lifting. Use the back to lift and lower. Good, last two. You got it, come on up. Hands to the hips, come back to that side toe tap. Let's just turn the body here, taking a little transition. So we're gonna to start to work more through the hips and the glutes while we continue to work your supporting leg as well. And we're gonna tap this leg behind the hip, taking that arm down, lift the arm and leg together like this. Come up and down. So my standing knee is bent. I'm working through that standing thigh. Lift and squeeze. Good. Keep going, doesn't have to go high. Make sure it's a lift, not a kick. Four more. Last two. You got it, take it back to the center. Just give me a little plie pulse. Good, now we're gonna alternate, tapping one toe across, step out and switch. So once you use those inner thighs, let's move the arms in and out. So not a huge plie, because it's quick. Just tap that toe across, close and open those arms. Four more. Three. Two last time. Okay, just kidding, one more time here. And <laughs> that was we'll switch. Toe taps. Getting ready for the other side with that rear leg lift with the arm. So again, get into your standing leg, bend the knee, shift the weight forward, tap and lift arm and leg together. Squeeze it up. Good. Focus those eyes, keep that balance. Just four more like that. Four, three, you got it. Two last time. Take it back to that center. Good, little plie pulse. Arms out. Pulse it down. Let's take that alternating toe tap set one more time. Step this way first. Tap and out. Good. Two more. Nice work, everybody. Let's walk it out. Go pick up those dumbbells using your legs. 
We're gonna get started back with that grand plie, moving into the chest and the shoulders at the same time. Palms face forward, come down for two, pull back. So I want you to scoop under and up, bend your elbows back behind you, use your back as you're standing. Exhale, inhale, that's it. Two more right here. Last time at this tempo, give me eight singles. Keep your control. Four more. Last two. Great job. Now just hold and pulse. Shifting into a little lunge position. I want you to turn this back hip in. Bring your heel a little bit closer so it's a nice little narrow lunge position. Bring your front arm up. We're gonna tap the back toe, a little push off as we press overhead like this. Up and down. Now you could also do a little lift with that back leg or just keep tapping the floor. Make it work for you. Four, three, two, one, holding here. We're gonna reach the arms in front. We're gonna take an upper back pull and lift up to a little passe position. Pull back through that upper back. A lot of shoulder work, so that front arm is tired, I know. Stay with it. Just four more here. Two. Good toe tap center. Take a breath. Repeating it again. Slow tempo, plie, chest scoop. Pull on the way back. Down and under. Pull up, stand it tall. Good. Exhale, inhale, four more like that. Two more here, then we'll pick up the pace. Get ready. Eight singles, let's go. Four more. Two. You got it. Now hold it down. Pivot the back hip and heel. Bring it in a little closer. Getting ready. Tap or lift. Press up. So arm is just outside of the ears. There's a slight hinge forward. Reach up and out. Four more. Last two. Now hold, bringing those arms out in front, upper back row, and passe from that back leg. Ready? Here we go, bring it up, tap back. Squeeze that upper back. Pull. Four more. Two, one, nicely done. Tap it center, take a breath. Nice job, okay. So let's keep working one side of the body at a time. We're gonna tap this toe out to the side. This arm is gonna take a bicep curl. So we have a hip lift, weight that hip up and down. That's it. You can give me a little bit more up and down if you want, a little more work from those legs. Four more here. Last two. Now hold, cross this leg behind. Give me a little curtsy lunge pulse. I'm just gonna turn to the side. I want you to give me a rear fly from that front arm. So we come out, in. 
Keep the chin to the chest, neck is long. Lift and lower that arm, don't throw it. Last three, two, one. We have one more, we're gonna use both arms for this one. Back leg steps forward, nice long lunge position, back heel is lifted, kick those arms back, lunge a little deeper. So a nice long line through your back heel, out through the crown of the head, lunging deeper into that front leg. Good. Last two, one more. Toe tap, breathe. So we're gonna set all that up on the other side. So we're gonna curl with this arm, lift to the side with this leg. Find your balance. Ready, here we go. You got it. Make sure you're standing tall, abs stay tight. Beautiful, stay strong. Peanut already did her bar workout for today. She's exhausted. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Curtsy lunge position. I'm just pivoting to the side so you can see it. Pulse, front arm opens and closes. Ready? Here we go, open and close. Just a shoulder level here. Shape of the arm doesn't change for us. Lift, use those muscles behind the shoulder blade, get into those rear delts. These high reps help us work out quite a bit of sweat without a ton of weight, right? Four, three, two, one. Come on up, long lunge position, tricep kickback. Ready, here we go. Adjust if you need to, make that lunge as long as you can. Keep it strong. Go nice and long into it. One more. Toe tap its side. Beautiful, nice work. Okay, so we're gonna move on. We're actually gonna double the weights up. Depending on how much weight you're using, you might wanna just make this a single weight. See what's working for you. We're gonna go a little bit heavier to continue working the legs in the back. So I want you to go ahead and take one foot forward. I've got my weights in my opposite hand. We're gonna take a little split stance squat and row. So I want you to take your back foot light. We come down and reach. Pull back. So if you don't need the back toe, you could lift it or tap it down. That's it. Four more. Two. Now before we move on, come on up. Separate those weights again. Tap the toe. We're gonna alternate one arm lifting in front as the back leg lifts. Squeeze and lift it out. Good. Now for our last eight, you could try both arms or you could keep alternating, up to you. Four, three, two, one, hold. Cross the weights, tap the toe out. Standing knee has a little bend in it. We're gonna cross that leg over as we extend up. Tap that toe. Chin to your chest. Use those inner thighs to tap that leg across. Good. Four, 
four more. Last two. Woo, come on down. Take a second. Switching to the other hand, switching to the other leg. We have that single leg split stance squat, back toes lifted or staying down with that row. Take a breath, get ready. Toe tapped or lifted, here we go. Reach and row. Do what's working best for you. You got it, sit back in your hips. Four more. Two. Now hold. Extend the leg back behind you. Alternate it. Or you can do both arms the entire time if you want more challenge. Last eight option to add both arms here if you're not already. Alternate if you need to stay there. Just two more. Good, crossing the weights, tapping that toe, overhead extend and cross. That's it. You're looking so good. Four, three, two, one, amazing toe tap. <sighs> You're doing great, everybody. We're almost done. Let's finish up concentrating a little bit more on those abdominals. Still working through the shoulders and the arms. Balancing on this leg. Tap and bend the elbow to the knee. Eight more. Four. Two more. Now take that leg behind you, hinge it forward. We're gonna see if we can balance with the leg lifted or you tap it down. Alternate a pulling row. One arm goes back while the other comes forward. So this is about the core. Still work in the back but twisting through that torso, challenging your balance. Try to lift that back leg right up in line with your hip or keep it tapped down. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Take a breath. We're gonna go get that up on the other side. Get ready, set it up. Here we go, elbow to knee. Get all your weight in that standing leg. Try not to put any weight on that toe as it taps down. Almost done, guys, you're doing great. Four more. Hold, take that leg behind. Ready, here we go. Keep going. Nice job, come on up. Good, toe tap it side. Beautiful, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and set the weights to the side. Carefully set them down. Take a breath. Nice deep breath in, stretch the arms up. Now, if you wanted to continue on, we have tons more bar workouts here on our channel. Maybe you wanna move on to a different type of workout. We've got those two. If you're done for the day, take a nice deep breath. Maybe do a few couple of stretches on your own before you move on. Peanut and I wanna thank you 
so much for showing up with us and sparkling today. Please keep up the great work you're doing, taking care of your body and your health. We hope to join you for another session soon. Take care, everybody.